What's up, everybody? Gideon's Tactical here doing a system review for you, overview for you here at Gideon's Tactical. My every day for 2013, early 2013, EDC, my everyday carry, what's on my body on a regular basis when I walk out the door every day, what do I have on me and with me? That's what this video is early 2013. 2013 it may change throughout the year if I uh, you know change something if I find a new product that works better I'll let you guys know but as of early 2013 this is my daily EDC I've had a bunch of requests from subscribers to show my 2013 EDC everyday carry system so this is it and we're gonna jump into it on my keychain here we're gonna start off with the keys is the Leatherman squirt s Sorry, PS4, and I'm not going to go into all uh, super detail with each item. I'll do you know separate reviews for each item, but you know just kind of give you an overview and why I carry it. I carry this on my keychain every day because it's easy to use. It's very lightweight. I believe it's like two and a half ounces. I get a small set of pliers that I can do different little tasks with. Cut some wire if I have to. Probably up to about 12 gauge. You know different things like that. Then as well, I get with this product. I get. A bottle opener and flathead screwdriver, a smaller flathead screwdriver. So I have two options for that. Scissors that I can use for either, you know, cleaning up my gash here or, you know, cutting little twine or, you know, if I'm just different things, whatever I need, a little pair of scissors. It's always good to have that. Then on the other side, actually, this has a really, really good, this squirt at PS4, double sided file, both uh, heavy grit and fine grit. And can also be used kind of as a pry bar or, you know, screwdriver or other things like that. And then uh, the actually very, very, very sharp little about, I want to say, inch and a half blade. So I always have that on my keychain with me all the time, you know, regardless even if I'm, you know, walking Tommy, the trail dog, out around, you know, the complex and giving him some exercise or regardless, this is always with me so that I, uh, you know, regardless of what comes my way, I can have that. So that's on my keychain every day. Moving on to the blades. The three blades that I'm carrying right now, just depending on the situation, are the now discontinued H&K Enigma. This is a two and a half ounce blade with a 2.9 inch uh, knife edge. Very compact, lightweight, small. And this is usually, you know, if I'm kind of dressing up, you know, if I'm wearing my suit and tie, or, you know, I'm just kind of wearing more kind of like dress, you know, tighter fitting dress slacks. Or something this is the blade I'll carry just because it's got a smaller profile than the other two on the table and it's more lightweight so that's the H&K Enigma an amazing little EDC blade discontinued but still pretty accessible online but prices are going up every day so I recommend grabbing it as soon as possible then uh, for you know like everyday hiking or you know just kind of more outside outdoorsy stuff where there's the possibility of me you know running and just a lot of exercise that may cause me to lose my knife but I need something that's kind of bigger that I can trust that's strong is a uh, limited edition green handled Spyderco Tenacious. Great blade, great budget, you know, four ounces, uh, you know, cheap. The, if you get the black version, you know, just the normal version, right around, you know, 35 to 40 bucks usually. 3.3 uh, inch blade, you know, so I can definitely use it in a tactical format if I had to. And uh, this is a, a, the knife I carry if I'm kind of worried that maybe I could lose it with the activity that I'm doing, but I still need a really good fixed blade, Spyderco Tenacious. Then for, you know, just larger uh, tasks, but I'm not worried about maybe losing it, or, you know, I'm going downtown and there's a possibility, you know, me just ha running into somebody that's going to need, you know, maybe to defend my life against or something, uh, I got the bench made full-size griptilian 3.4 inch blade axis lock three and a half ounces i mean just an awesome awesome large fixed blade that's super lightweight sorry folder that's super lightweight very quick fun to use high quality this is definitely you know a tactical type of pocket knife folder so those are my, my knives that i'm rocking right now just depending on the situation how i'm feeling that day Moving on to, this is a really big part and really why I haven't done EDC for a while video is I've been trying to find a good pouch that I can carry on me every day, every time I step out the door to meet the day. And I finally, I went through about three different uh, bags. You've seen them. Uh, I used the, the Blackhawk Mini 
BDU wallet for a little while. I don't know why they call it mini because it's the same size as all other brand BDU wallets. Um, that one didn't really work. It was just really big and bulky. Then I tried ordering the Maxpedition Janus expansion pocket. That didn't really fit my needs. Then I ordered in the Maxpedition Micro BDU wallet or organizer, pocket organizer, and that is what I have found I love. I'm in love with this little pouch because it's small enough that uh, it's not cumbersome, it's not bulky, you know, banging around, it's not obnoxiously large, but I can get everything that I need in it. We're looking at about three and a half inches wide, five and a half inches tall, uh, and about an inch in expansion ability. On the front end, we have a pocket with no Velcro back here, but uh, I got an awesome uh, little emergency uh, kit with a pack of Tylenol, uh, butterfly bandages, normal bandages, Neosporin, all that fits in that up uh, larger pocket in the front, nice and tight and firm, it's not gonna fall out. Then on the back, you just have one zipper here in the full size area. You open this little sucker up. I am running right now my Streamlight Style Pro, an amazing LED light, button on the back, pocket clip, size of a Sharpie, fits in this little guy with no problem, uh, has about eight hours of battery life, and I believe like 48 lumens or something like that. Very high end, I'll be doing a you know review again, I said separately on all of these knives, you'll see, all, right, all these items, you'll see separate reviews. But uh, that is the light that I'm rocking right now. So I got a tactical light in there. And then I have a big lighter, don't smoke, but always need something you know to start fire if you had to. Just a little notepad back here if I got to take notes or draw out a diagram you know, for building something or whatever. Got a famous Dave's hand towelette to clean my hands if they get really nasty and dirty. Separate uh, spare keys. This is very important too. You know, you can have this on you. Maybe you lock your keys in your car. Um, if you have this on you at all times, either in your pocket or on your belt or something like that, then you don't really have to worry about if you accidentally lock your keys in your car. So I always have a spare car key and house key in the wallet. Then I have a Tide pen for we all know us dudes can happen to be messy. Ladies, you know that. So a uh, Tide pen to help clean up all my little messes from time to time. Normal sharp, just a normal pen, Sharpie, and this is very important. I have twenty, about twenty-four dollars right now. Over twenty dollars is what I always have on me in cash in different denominations for just something. You know, regardless if I go somewhere and I just need cash on me, or maybe this has happened once to me before. Uh, you know, someone hijacked my you know debit card and they cancel it, my bank cancels it, and I have no way to pay for anything in the moment. You know, I don't find out about it till I go to the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at, you know, the line at Chipotle, and I, and I gotta pay, and my card declines. Well, here we go, I got cash, and now I'm not worried about it. So I always have different denominations of cash hanging out there, and then I took a uh, expired Starbucks gift card and wrapped about 15 feet of duct tape on this particular gift card. And that's just a really easy, awesome way to carry around duct tape with you in a slim package, lightweight. And I got plenty of duct tape, you know, and you can do duct, just about anything with duct tape. Um, and that's really awesome just to have that, you know, I can use it for medical situations if I had to, you know, to stop bleeding if I had a really large gash, uh, you know, tape and also just all sorts of stuff up. So wrap duct tape around just any expired gift card or, you know, a, a gift card that you've already used. And that's an awesome way to just kind of uh, have duct tape on you at all times. So those are all those items. Uh, how I mount this, because I was trying to figure out how I would mount this thing, is um, I actually got this off a of buddy, but you should be able to find something very similar regardless if it's a carabiner or something, because I wanted to be able to take this off my belt if I had to, because I wear jeans most of the time. I know some of you guys out there rock, you know, um, tactical pants or whatever. And when I can, I do, you know, or cargo pants and this pocket fits perfect in there. But a lot of the time I'm wearing jeans for my just day in day out. And I got to carry this on my belt. And I originally was going to run it through this back loop back here. It doesn't have any molly or any other attachments, just a large handle loop. But uh, I just wasn't digging that. It just wasn't comfortable. And I couldn't take it off my belt if I had to get into it and try and find something. So what I did was I just got this off a of buddy, but it, this is basically just kind of a 
a Molly strap, I think. It's got two really strong buttons. My you know normal size belt fits there with, through it without any problem. And uh, it hangs perfectly on my belt. I can kind of adjust it, you know, if I need to move it out of the way or you know I'm getting into the car and I just need to adjust it to buckle my suit belt or whatever. Works perfectly for that and I can unbutton it and uh, take it off if I have to and get into my uh, stuff and you know hand it to somebody if I needed to you know and they need to get something out of it or whatever it comes off the belt belt very easily but these buttons are very strong so I'm not going to accidentally lose it if I'm you know running around or you know jogging through the airport to catch my plane or whatever this is not going to come flying off so that's just a little thing that I've uh, come up with you could use a carabiner an s clip you use all types of different stuff uh, to attach it to your belt if you're rocking jeans a lot of the time because maybe you just ha- you just either don't have the money or you're not comfortable or whatever with cargo pants so uh, again this uh, micro maxpedition organizer is awesome I love that moving on finally because I am now certified for conceal carry. I'm super stoked for that. So my last part of my EDC is my Smith & Wesson MP, MNP Shield 9mm. This thing is awesome. You can watch my uh, range review if you like. Very lightweight, single stack, very slim. It's about just over an inch thick. So very slim, and I can carry this in all sorts of different ways. This even has the extended clip, and it feels very comfortable on my person. And uh, it's just a really easy uh, firearm to carry with me um, around town, you know, in the car, wherever. And, uh, you know, as long as they don't take away our Second Amendment rights here with everything we're dealing with lately. Um, Just a great gun to have. I wanted something that had an external safety uh, so I could carry it hot. And uh, this has the external safety, has a pretty good trigger, uh, not very bad kick up, kickback, and it's just an awesome overall gun to carry with you. And I got with me eight plus one rounds in this little single stack, high end in my opinion, high value for sure, MNP 9mm, highly recommended, I'm loving, loving it. Very fun to even shoot at the range. I enjoy shooting at the range. The sight profile is awesome. Again, you'll see a different separate review for this MNP Shield tabletop review for this guy uh, in the future. But awesome little pistol for my EDC carry as well. Just awesome, awesome overall stuff. So that, my friends, is my everyday carry knives, stuff, gun, all those different things. I hope this has helped you out, give you some ideas. Comment below, subscribe, tell me what you carry, what's your, in your EDC, maybe if you see something that you maybe could, I could do better or something that I'm not carrying that I definitely should, comment below. I love to hear your guys' comments. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.